Hey guys, it's Sophie, welcome back to my channel. Um, so today I'm wearing a wig because I'm too lazy to do my own hair today. Um, this is my Natasha Romanoff Winter Soldier, Soldier wig. Uh, my amazing boyfriend cut. Um, also today on the day of filming, April 16th of April. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, it's my boyfriend's wedding anniversary. So if you can hear my phone going off, I'm currently on the group chat. So I've muted it, but I've turned on my right, so. so anyway, I'm rambling. Um, so today I'm doing two videos. I'm going to film in succession, so the next one will also I'll be looking like this. Um, it's two more mystery boxings. Um, these ones are themed. I've got a Marvel one that I'll do next. And this one is a Harry Potter one. This one is a Hufflepuff based one. It's from um, a, past, a site on Etsy. Uh, who does it for each of the houses. So obviously, me being a Hufflepuff, I have to get my own house. So let's get right into it. Now, I remember um, the person was ill while creating my box, and she added another little thing in it for me, which is really, really great, and thank you so much for doing that. Um, I'm not sponsored by the companies for these mystery boxes. I just really like the idea of mystery boxes and the themed ones to ones that I like. So, um, this is from Just Fribble on Etsy, I'll put the link down below. Um, so, first things first is like, if you get this, which is a really nice Hogwarts logo, and then um, it's got the artist in the bottom there. Uh, sorry, I'm a little bit, oh, I don't know, I'm not going to so you've got some yellow tissue paper, because Hogwarts and Hufflepuffs. Um, this is very cute. I think is it coming? Is it Nifla? Nifla from Fantastic Beasts. Uh, it's a little sticker. I don't actually have a post for it at the moment, but I will find somewhere. Cause that's quite cute. There is a nine and three quarters bookmark, which is really cute. I'll definitely be using that every little bit, so that will definitely come in handy. In Hufflepuff, where they are just and loyal, those Hufflepuffs are true and unafraid of toil. So it's a little Deathly Hallows. And from Faith and Spring, it's a little bracelet, I think. It's got a little tie bit on the back, so that is really cute. Then, what's this one? Francesca Arts and Book Marks. I'm assuming she's the one that did the bookmark. Uh, on here, I'm not sure, um, but that's really cool. So then, as a free little gift of it being so delayed, I uh, got some bath salts with the it says Hufflepuff on it. You might belong in Hufflepuff, but they are just and loyal. Those patient Hufflepuffs are true and unafraid of toil. That's really cute. I, I like a lot of baths. I've never really used bath salts, but if I get this open. Oh, that smells like it smells really citrusy, and it's like white and yellow. I'm gonna try and show it without tipping it everywhere. Um, oh, that's really good. I might have to use that. That smells really good. I'm gonna have to use it on my Lush products later when I have a bath. So that's really good. I love the packaging. You can always reuse the packaging when I'm done. And then there's this Huffle Pug. Um, what you think is a badge, it's actually a mirror. So that's my camera in the thing, that's what I use to film. Um, I prefer if it was a pin, I might put it on something with a bit of blue tack on the back, but <coughs> who knows yet. I've got, what was it, three, four more things in here. Got some soap that smells of butterbeer, so vanilla butterbeer inspired soap, which just looks like this. Which smells absolutely amazing. Like, oh my gosh. Ooh, yeah. I can't wait to use that. That's going to be so good. The next three things are actually candles in here, which is, I think, one of the things she specialises in. So, again, we've got a Hufflepuff one. Um, lovely little yellow candle. I 
I can't work out the scent. I just know it smells really, really good. And I'm a massive, massive fan of candles. I actually have a box in my cupboard full of all my candles because I don't have them out on display anymore. I used to. So these will definitely be added to the rotation of the candles. This next one is called Patronus. It's a nice little light bluey colour. Ooh. I know what this smells like, but I can't place it. What is that scent? It smells a little bit like the sea and a little bit minty in a way. Um. I wish you put like what scents these are on it, but that's like a really nice refreshing scent. So that's really really good. And then the biggest candle in here is Bertie Bott's Every Favoured Bean. Bertie Bott's Jelly Bean Scented Candle. And I thought she's reused different packaging for these. Oh my god, yeah, I know I first my smell so I did open them previously. Um because I've been waiting a while to do this. And both me and my sister agreed this smells like the sweets fruit salad. If anyone remembers that, bonus points for you. Um, but yeah. Yeah, it smells exactly like fruit salad sweets. It's only like 90s, 2000 era kids. Um, late 90s, early 2000s. Remember these. Because I remember, I remember the scent, it's really good. Because I remember going to the swimming pools and having those sweets and that and oh that brings back memories of my childhood oh that smells good so i think these will definitely be used and that is i believe everything in this box so the box was quite pricey it it uh it's i think it's 27 pound online i'll put it again in the description um but the range of products you get and i think they're all quite they're all very good quality products, definitely, and there's a few different other companies incorporated into this box as well, which is great. Um, yeah, I definitely recommend this box. It did amount to £30 in the end of shipping. Um, I think definitely worth, worthwhile it is, yeah. And the fact they do one for each of the Hogwarts houses as well is absolutely brilliant. So you can get it tailored to whether you're a Gryffindor, a Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, or Slytherin, or you, I think you can get one... It's just Hogwarts based, I think. I'll have to check that. But yeah, I, I, I definitely recommend it. It's really good. Um, yeah, I think if you've got the money to spare for it, definitely do it. But um, definitely, I think go for the themed ones more than just the general mystery ones. If you see it saw in my last video, you can get some really great stuff in it. Like I've got an Alice Pop and things like that. And then you can get some kind of other things where it's like, oh, okay. What am I supposed to do with that now? Uh, whereas this is all stuff I'll use, like the bookmarks, the bath salts, the candles. It's, it's all stuff I'll, I'll use, so that's really, really good. Um, so yeah, I'll leave all the links down below for that one. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, you'll see me looking like this again in the next one, because I'm going to film it literally in a second. So have a great day, guys. Bye.